What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas break. So to start things off, we're going to get into my hater comments and some of these comments are just random things people have said on my videos. They're not all hater comments. Um, a lot of them actually came from my Lego stereotypes video that I did about a year back I think now. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, this should be pretty interesting and hopefully make a pretty entertaining video. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, so the first comment we have is from Unicorn Ninja. And he says, um, this was from my Lego stereotypes video. He says, these aren't strip types. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it says stereotypes um, for your correction. Okay, so next we have a really long comment right here um, from Dennis J. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this one. So. Some of these are just justified, like the water studs thrown about, which I find ugly as well. So you're basically calling the stereotype ugly. They aren't stereotypes, and more just what annoys you, and don't judge everyone for trying. Well, you're basically judging someone by telling that the water technique is ugly. Um, not everyone has the creativity, especially money, to get so many bricks. Some are kids, and some are adults who just want to have fun. Am I taking away any fun here by making this video? This video is supposed to be funny. Am I taking away the fun out of this? That's what Lego is. Just relax a little. I, I basically said in the beginning and the end of the video that these were just... This whole video was just a joke. It was all just meant to be funny. And some people are just too serious and they can't take a simple joke. The rock work can be ugly, but so what? The filler bricks, who cares? Especially when they are all hidden. So you want to spend a ton of money on bricks to go underneath, behind bricks, so you have the same color. I'm not saying you have to do this technique. Um, I just, I'm just saying it looks kind of bad if you leave, you hold back your mock with just, with just colored filler brick. And I'll admit, I've used this technique a couple times before. It just kind of bothers me to like look at a colored wall on the back of your mock when, your rest, when the rest of your mock looks really good and you just have, like, the back of it just looks trash because it's because of the colored filler brick and it's not all one color. I'm just saying using all gray bricks or all black bricks or something like that may look nicer. I'm not judging people for actually doing that. I know plenty of people who do that. I'm not pointing out anyone in particular. If it's hidden, who cares? Have fun, man, and enjoy your own style. Well, thank you, Dennis J. So the next one is from Lewis M. I don't understand what's wrong with using studs. Some people actually attach the studs to the base plate, not pouring the whole thing. Obviously, like David Hall or someone. I'm not saying that this technique's wrong in the video. I'm just dumping a bunch of studs. I have no dialogue at all in this entire video. I'm not judging anyone. It, the video is just a joke, like another person who just can't take a joke. Okay, so the next comment is from Jake Stewart. He says, I can't tell if you're taking a piss or you're retarded. Two minutes. Okay, so guys, we're going to skip to two minutes on that video. I'm going to pull up that video right there, and we're going to skip to two minutes. What you do is you want to get one and just put it where you want your rock work. So right there, right there. Look, that looks amazing. I mean, I just, you just can't get any better than that. So again, I can't understand what I did at the two minute mark. I don't think there's anything special about that point in the video where I may act or sound that way. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay, so this one's on one of my older mocks. It's actually one of my older Hoth mocks before I actually built my big Hoth mock or whatever. So the sniper troop says boring. Well, I mean, what can I say? It's a mock video. Like, the mock obviously wasn't all that interesting. I wasn't very good at mock building back then. I was just kind of getting started. So I really wouldn't, like, judge me for making a boring video, if that makes any sense. Okay, so the next one we have is for Chica Lord. And he says, many dislikes. Smiley face. Um, interesting story behind this. This is from one of my Oct 2 videos, one of my first ones. Um, my friend at school actually disliked bought it my video, and it has over 540 dislikes on that video. Okay, so the next one we have is from Adoria Lego Studios. Um, obviously Aiden, he quit YouTube a couple months ago or a while back. When is Fortnite Mock coming? You know, I really don't know, to be honest. Um, 
I feel like if I made some kind of Fortnite mock, I obviously don't really play the game much anymore because it's kind of dead and I kind of hate it to be honest. Um, but even if I made any, if I made anything Fortnite, you guys would just dislike, unsubscribe. Like I would get all these hate comments, which would actually kind of make new content for my next video to be honest. But yeah, I'm not doing a Fortnite mock. <laughs> done with that. Um, maybe five months ago I would have done it when this comment was posted, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, good luck doing it now, especially since how many of you guys um, hated my Fortnite gameplay that I played. So guys, that's going to about wrap up this video. Um, that's about it for my hate comments. I have a couple more, but it's honestly kind of hard to like search through my, all my comments to find and pick out some of these. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys have a great day, and also Christmas break is coming up. Um, hope you guys have a great Christmas and holidays. I'll see you guys soon.